we were issued with American-made parka, well, sleeping bag, parka jackets, big parka came down here and, and wrapped over, and I, 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 I'm not sure what else, but no, that's how they're here. I spent a lot of my time sitting up in a hole in the ground with a uh, half in the ground and, and uh, sandbags around the top. That was the signal hoochie with, um, I think we had three, I think I had three signal, other signals working for me. I spent a lot of my time sitting up all night monitoring the radio and the telephones. With all of that on and in my sleeping bag in the winter, um, I'll tell you, what else can I tell you about it? Okay, we didn't have, we were up on the hill at the top of 355, it was very hard to get uh, supplies up, so only essential supplies come out. Water supply, enough for drinking, and a pannikin, an army pannikin, which was enough to do, clean your teeth, wash yourself, and uh, have a shave, if you had a shave every now and again. And I can remember walking all the way down the hill a couple of times, to the creek down there, which was breaking the ice and having a having a wash, just because I felt I needed a wash. At once, just once, I got a jeep. I got a jeep back to the American something or other, like the 125th. Not 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 mash, but the mobile advanced shower unit. They had one of those. You went in one end. You checked in your hat, your, your rifle, and your boots threw all the rest of your clothes in the corner, went in and had these hot steaming shower, came out the other end, picked up whatever clothes you could find. And I, I did have a nice jacket, from American jacket for there, but that, that went too. Um, and then got your important things back and, and uh, went, went, back, went back to the line, went back to 355, which is where I spent most of my time. I do remember also in, in reserves, so one of your companies would go back every now and again in reserve and we had a little we were in sort of a tent thing there, and we <laughs> to keep warm. And that was the, yeah, that was the winter of fifty, so Christmas '52. I think we were in reserve, and uh, I don't know how many of us would be in one of these tents. But you have a a drum, uh, like a four-gallon drum, sand in the bottom. Somebody would pull for. Uh, kerosene, mobile fuel way outside, that'd be in a drum outside, you'd have it leaking into this onto the sand and light it and that was how you'd keep it warm. And you'd also get some get some beer when you reserve. Kirin and I saw you beer from uh, um, Japan. So I guess that's how I kept warm. It was pretty hard. It was pretty difficult.